40 minute battle cruiser, no, not battle cruiser, carrier, Man, ship. this would be the most epic PvZ ever if it comes down to battle cruisers. <laughs> yeah, then something really crazy has happened. Zerg like neurals an SCV on another map in another matchup, brings no, it to daybreak. He neurals an automaton, which actually is able to produce a command center for some weird bug that we have only on daybreak. Then we do see some battle cruisers with 3-3 three, three Yamato cannons, the carriers. You know, in, uh, <laughs> in Brood War, you could mind control the critters. Okay. And then you could like use them to scout around the map. <laughs> it, it served it actually no real function. But in uh, Warcraft 3, there was the race called Human, and you were able to have a shop, and you could buy this little critter. And then you could spawn a critter, and just like, which mostly be a sheep. And then you spawn a sheep, and that sheep runs across the map, but actually gives you vision. So unless the other guy is like a really... Just like a sheep hater and kills all <laughs> sheep, he will never notice there's a sheep in his base. But not many people used it because the sheep was kind of slow. <laughs> <laughs> and it was also quite obvious when there's only a sheep like looking at your expansion. <laughs> like normally sheep just kind of like wander around in the middle of the map. And then suddenly there's a sheep checking out your expansion. <laughs> like, hey, sheep, you. There's something weird about this. Sheep. Day 40. <laughs> Day 40. He still hasn't noticed that I'm a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much how it went, man. Uh, I'm sure that you like whenever you whenever you hear all this Warcraft stuff, you you're sad that you never played Warcraft. Yeah, you know, they had sheep in Age of Empires. That was actually one of my original RTS games that I got into. Uh, and you you killed the sheep to harvest like the food, mm -hmm. but uh, occasionally somebody would scout around the map with the sheep. You want to know a funny story? Whenever I started playing RTS for the very first time, uh, I played uh, Common Conquer Red Alert. I played the original Common Conquer too, but that was more against uh, PC. So when Red Alert came out, uh, you had like Axis and uh, no, what was it? Uh, Nod and Soviet. No, it was well. Uh, yeah, I. You, I have. How no was idea. the allies called? Like you had not, and then you had G. Wow, I can't believe I forgot this. Anyways, I'm someone. I know someone is spamming me on Twitter right now. It's called. Uh, I will check it out after this game. Anyways, uh, the harvesters of like the good race, they were able to teleport home, but the harvesters of uh, like the Russians or not, they were not able to teleport home. So I made a deal always with GDI. My GDI. That's right. Thank you guys. Uh, they were not able to teleport home, but it was really lame, I thought, to kill the harvesters. That's basically like killing probes and drones. So I, whenever I played RTS, I made a deal with my brother. It's like, hey, man, we don't kill harvesters. And like whenever one of us two would start killing harvesters, we get really mad at each other. Like if, he, if I would do it to him, he would start hitting me. And if he did it to me, I would call my mom because I couldn't hit him back. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was too big. Yeah. I had a buddy in, uh, in middle school. We played Warcraft 2 together. And uh, we played with Fog of War turned off. So yeah. we could just always see the we whole did, map. We did that yeah. most of the time as well. I, I thought it was really lame. I was like, Fog of War, that's so stupid. This is dumb. I can't, I can't even see, see anything. Where you are. <laughs> Later on, like in uh, one of the Common Conquer Tiberian Sun, you had one of the races who had like an ultimate building, which sort of like provided cloak over his base all the time. I thought it was the most imbalanced thing of all time. Because how can I know what he's doing if I can't see <laughs> it? This is stupid. Anyways, man, so far everything is standard on Daybreak. For everyone, just tune in. We are playing best of five between Arthur and Golden. Uh, of course, as you guys could see, uh, they passed the game. I already said this at the start of the show. All four series we cast today, they have been played earlier. Of course, a lot of guys have to travel to IPL. And we also want to make sure that these games were played, as it's so important. This is the playoffs. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, we want to make sure that our games were played. We let the players know in advance. I'm not sure when uh, the games are played. Uh, most of them, of course, very recent. Maybe even this morning, maybe yesterday, maybe the day before. Uh, the games are very recent, but they are not live. And of course, we are completely unaware of the results. Arthur returns to Stargate play. Yeah, I like the position of this Stargate, man. It's kind of hard to spot. Uh, yeah, again, hidden in, a, in an interesting spot. I think if Golden sacrifices this Overlord at the bottom, he's going to send it almost, almost straight up. And he might spot it. We'll see. And he'll probably try to do that in 30, minute, 30 seconds to a minute. He's actually already sacking an overlord from the back of the natural. He's nice. not going to see anything there. Man, once again, it's just excellent uh, placement on the tech from Arthur. He has wow. successfully hidden every tech structure he's built this game. This overlord will survive, though. Now, the, one at, the, the one at uh, 6 o'clock is starting to move now. And this one, I think, might be the, uh, no, the magic. No, he's not going to check the target, man. There's no way. Because he's going to think there's ch tech over here. Right, we're going to see another pylon going down right now for Arthur in the main base. And you're right. You're exactly right. And the good thing is, Ben, did he check plus one already? Because actually, I'm not sure if uh, those links haven't been here for a little while. Yeah, he, he never saw it spinning. Yeah, that's uh, a little bit sad for Arthur. Because obviously, you want to see your opponent see that you are researching plus one. 
because the plus one is not the most important part. The Phoenixes are what's going to deal real damage, as we saw in Cloud Kingdom, as we saw in Titan versus Curious of BWC. And what's the game on DreamHack which casted them? Mana versus Nurture on Cloud Kingdom, where Mana did it so well as well. Unfortunately, he still lost the game, but that's more because he made a bad uh, Vortex and also didn't attack when he could have. Evo Chamber is going to finish up for gold, and I wonder if this time he'll make some spores just kind of to be yeah. safe. I don't think so, Ben, because uh, this game, so I mean, this series so far, Arthur has been very aggressive. Two Immortal Sentry all-ins, one straight up seven gate all-in. Do you really want to invest into Spore Crawlers if you, in case you get the gateway all-in? Maybe if you still haven't seen anything at eight minutes and 30 seconds. I mean, this is consistently when Arthur has been pushing out. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Of course, there is an uh, evolution chamber on the map already, as we can see that he's researching uh, Zerg missile attacks, plus one. Fourth Phoenix is about to spawn, and I think with him, magic number, Arthur ben. is going to head out. That's exactly what does uh, end up happening. No spine crawler crawlers. is going down. Oh no! What a the misread! More spine crawlers are going down. What, what? a misread! These links should have spotted those phoenixes. Though those spines may very well cancel. Or queen man, the wrong queen. Yes, of course, spines do cancel. That's actually the exact right thing for Golden to do. Okay, that's good. He's still going to end up losing at least two more queens, I think. Yeah, uh, that's kind one. of inevitable. One more queen and, uh, and some overlords. I think you can even get this queen in the natural. Yeah, I think so too. If he just goes for it right now, like, go! Run, little phoenix! Now, the question is going to very quickly become, will this be enough damage? Uh, yes, he is like going to kill this queen. Not even in range of the spore crawlers. That's uh, maybe good. a little sloppy by Golden, but of course, these kinds of things happen. The, w the work count is still very good, though, for Golden. I mean, losing queens is always a painful thing, man, but he didn't really lose a whole oh, lot of Oh, got left. another queen! Now, this is incredibly sloppy. Golden is now going to be down to, to zero. just zero queens. Not just one, not just two, but zero. He is producing four queens right now, but this is a critical moment. This is game five. This is it, man. It's all over for whoever loses this game. And, and, and these Phoenixes have, uh, have just put Arthur in a phenomenal position, and he is taking a very yeah. aggressive third base behind yeah. this. This is so quick, man. Whenever I start making my nexus at 10 minutes and 30 seconds, I feel good about myself. I think, hey, Kev, you played a good game right now, because this expand is still pretty early on. At 10 minutes, 30 seconds, his nexus is almost done. And the best thing is, it's going to survive. He's going to keep this alive. Plus two is on the way. Blink is about to finish up. A golden, yes, he still has a lot of drones, but he also made quite a few units early on, Look which he phoenixes. didn't really do anything with. What's Silly up? phoenixes. What did the phoenixes They were do? dancing over a roach. <laughs> uh, Golden's made a, a few more units. He's Pick heading up the across drone, the map once base. again. Did not do that. He's able to kill this overseer, perhaps. Man, I love the position of Arthur so much uh, once more. Robotics Bay being wiped in right now, so he's going to be able to get two, three Colossus out, perhaps yep. then push. I think we're going to see the same kind of push we saw in Cloud Kingdom. And I feel that his position is even better right now. Ben, look at the unit loss resource tab. You oh, love it. Oh, beautiful, flawless victory so far for Arthur. We'll see if he's able to continue that trend. <laughs> if he does that, I'm his biggest fan. He's got perfect vision of the map right now. He knows exactly what he's playing against. Now, Golden... Yes, he's been set back, but he's he's certainly not out of this game. He's got he's 80 no. drones. He's got uh, his pathogen glands is done. He's getting his hive. He's getting his spire. And Everything is still lining up pretty nicely for Golden. Uh, seven investors are about to pop, and this guy's is really the moment where you have to be so careful with your phoenix. I say this also oh often enough. This is why I was blown away by heroes. Um, uh, Phoenix, oh, okay, this is a different scenario. Never mind, I'm talking about the wrong game. But Range, for instance, is also one of those guys who keeps his Phoenixes alive. Constantly, you yeah. see, like a game, it's 25 minutes into the game, and we still see a couple of Phoenixes. That's because he never loses them to Fungal. Well, this could have been a pretty scary little run by. The score's like, go away, go away, get out of here. Pop. And now you want to put a bailing, in this, a bailing into this? Yeah, man, that would have been here. awesome. <laughs> and, then the, and then the bailing rides on top of the Phoenix like he's Luke Skywalker. That sounds <laughs> equally awesome. <laughs> How cool would that be? Or he, like he throws out a little zealot out of the Phoenix and like the bailing takes over. <laughs> <laughs> and just now like he's like a, 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 just like a little, gr little green guy. Yeah, he's yeah. just got his arm kind of hanging yeah. out the window. And as now he's, he's like a kamikaze pilot or like a bed rider in Warcraft 3. Man, I love that idea. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I'm, I'm all for that one. All right, the most important thing right now for Golden is, man, that Golden does not uh, get as greedy as he was in Cloud Kingdom. And so far, I do not have the feeling that he is. He already has eight investors. That's more than he had on Cloud Kingdom. He's still able to get more. I also think he's going to get way more spy and sport crawlers this time. <laughs> I don't really think this is... Uh uh, hey, why not? He's yeah, not, I mean, not going to go across the map. Maybe he wants yeah. to lift some investors later. You're so right. Uh, actually, you're so right. I was about to think, like, you'd rather pick up drones, but it's too risky right now because there are investors out on the map, so 
Exactly, man. As you said, why the hell not? Pushing with one Colossus right now is Arthur. Yeah, this is a so huge many, push. But the counter, the Zergling counterattack is quite scary as well, though. And there are a lot of infestors on the map. We can see the Zerglings running into the turret. Uh oh, those Lings are going to do huge damage. I think that third base is definitely going to yeah. die. But what is more scary for Golden is every other base that belongs yeah. to him. He has very few units out on the map right now. But still, Ben, I, there are so many Corruptors. This Colossus is going to melt. And as soon as that Colossus melts, it's going to be Ling Infestor against Blink. Stalker. I think Golden might be able to survive. It's going to be hard, but I think he's able to do it. He is definitely going to kill this third base. A little no surprise that event. we didn't see any warpins over there. Absolutely zero additional warpins right now for Arthur. So this is the army right now that he's going to have to kill Golden with. Infested Terror. Oh, there's a big blink onto the Stalkers. I don't know if that was the right choice. These, these uh, Stalkers are going to get chain fungled to death right now. Uh, still a lot of damage being dealt, and this, oh, and the Colossus, like you said, just melting away. Stalkers are going to try to be micro backwards, but it might be too late. So this many third links. hatch is going to be left alive. No, it's going to be close, but man, all those links are back right now. There uh -oh. are like 58 links on the map. This is a scary moment. Arthur, he's going to kill this hatch and yeah. try to get out of there, but I don't know if there's going to be any retreating from this army. Uh, even if he does, Ben, is he really ahead? Two bases to two bases, 70 drones Six to 70 probes. Well, he has a little bit of a bank. That's something to hold on to. And actually, Golden's not going to give chase. He's going to sit back and uh, actually well, sending yeah. the wings back across I the mean, map. Do you really want to fight when you're morphing six brutes? Yeah, uh, certainly not. Certainly not. Oh, this is a very interesting spot for these two guys. There are two more Colossi out, but that's not going to help so much now that the Broodlord well. count is starting to get serious. Now, all the links are on this side of the map once more. Golden is pretty much maxed out. Army supply 119 against 88. More Colossus out on the field. I do not think that Golden expects uh, that many Broodlords already. Yeah, I think. I mean, uh, Arthur. Yeah, course. I think you're right. Um, Lings are going to oh, try to run over here into close, the third base. So close. And there's or only a single the cannon. Base, I actually, if I was a Golden right now, well, okay, with the sentries, never mind. I guess not. I would love to see him just fight a wall, try to break it. Arthur's going to push forward once more. He's at only 160 uh, supply. There is a warp prism with his army. He can warp in with his the army. The good thing is, Ben, there are no corruptors anymore. That's that, a, that, that is a good thing, but I don't know if it's going to matter. Look at the infestors. Links, 93 links and 10 infestors, and as well as that 8 Broodlords I got. This Zerg army is so scary. Oh, Certainly on so this ramp. Up. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Links coming in from behind. Stalkers are going to be fungled. Oh, God. This is uh, painful. This is incredibly painful. I think this actually might be the end of Arthur. Golden is going to go ahead and remax Colossi melting away. And I think that's going to be it, Kev. Oh. Arthur just goes from 170 supply to 90 in the blink of an eye. What a heartbreaking loss for Arthur. I was really kind of feeling it. I thought we might have a Cinderella story on our end. Yeah, well, a very, very nicely played series. You have to give the kid credit. But uh, at the end of the day, man, Golden proven that he's just a little bit too good. Uh, <laughs> four blink stalkers in a, in a war in prism. prism. Sounds like a bad sitcom. <laughs> <laughs> I would watch it, man. <laughs> Maybe if Charlie Sheen was one of the stars. <laughs> and the rest is Bling, Bling, Ilias, and Munchi. A hey, bro, I got tiger blood. <laughs> Roaches and Lings pushing forward along with these Broodlords. There is one Colossus, but I have a hard time believing that's going to really help the cause. Soon three Colossus, but the thing is, there's so many units on the ground. There's still quite a few Infestors, and there's still so many Broodlords. Uh, Golden scores all the way up to three bases as well, so he's heavily outmining Arthur as we speak. Uh, just everything is working for a Zerg player from Quantic right now, and uh, unfortunately for the former uh, player of Slayers. Um. Yeah, it looks like it might be the end of the road here, Kev. He's got uh, a small handful of units left, but he's going to need more than a miracle here. If he's going to save this series, Golden's just going to morph more Broodlords right over the army of Arthur. And this is going to be it, man. The last stand of Arthur. Do or die, all or nothing. One big blink to save them all, but it's not going to matter. Golden very clearly with a massive advantage. We'll clean up the last of Arthur's units. Good game will be called. And that's all she wrote. Our first participant in the North American Star League Grand Finals will be Quantic Golden. Comes from the NASL Season 4 Open Qualifier event. Some people just tune in, might think like, hey, I haven't even seen this guy in the regular season. That is because he was one of our two players who made it through the NASL Season 4 Open Qualifier. Uh, he went through the players' first round. I think he defeated Puma 3-0. That's, uh, that's a really big win. As we all know, Puma normally does not lose. This is the first time Puma is not part of our offline finals because of Golden. And now Golden takes out Arthur as well. I'm a little bit... Uh, 
I'm a little bit sad for Arthur because I would have loved to see yeah. him get some success in this phase of his StarCraft 2 career. He played a good season. He went 6-2 in the regular season, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. The last game was brought to you guys by Epson Projectors. Epson is the world's leading projector producer. They have a full line of projectors with bright image quality, brilliant image detail. Check them all out at epson.com slash projectors. Andre, Lauren, how what? about that? How about that fantastic series? What, ben? How, how about that fantastic series? How about that fantastic series? What did you think about it? I think that you guys are finally listening to me. Finally, after all this time of me telling you how well Golden is playing, you're finally understanding why. <laughs> you know, all you guys want rooting for Arthur, and I told you guys that blinking stalkers isn't enough, and now you're listening. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You know, I don't think anyone in the, in the world could, could analyze that series better than that right there. Yeah. Blinking so. stalk. I, I think this is quote I'm of the day. I'm a little bit worried. Blinking My job security is, is in danger <laughs> right now because of Lauren Elise's brilliant analysis. Did you hit Grandmaster while we were gone? Yes. Said, I've been practicing. Yeah. Roddy, you haven't played in a while. Yeah. I've been no, here. No, no. I, I've I, been here. I actually thought that you sniped me twice in the previous day when I was playing that. <laughs> I was, I was like, Lauren sure. Elise, please stop sniping me. I'm just <laughs> trying to get back in shape. This is not cool. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Okay, so I just, I'm really thankful that you guys are finally listening to me and, we and are accepting my analysis. All right, it was, it was top or notch. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely top notch. Thank you, Lauren Elise. No thank problem. you, thank you, Andre. <laughs> anytime, <laughs> anytime, Ben, really, seriously. Next time I'll give my input. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take another short break. Our next match is going to be Alicia versus Violet. Season 3 runner up versus uh. one of the hottest Zerg players on the planet. Don't go anywhere, guys. Lots more StarCraft still to come from the NASL.